Namaskar and salam dosto. You're watching West Indian today with yours truly, your host and dost, Imran Ahmad. I want to say welcome once again and thank you for tuning in to our program. Thank you for being a part of our show each and every week, every Saturday from 1 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. talking about the issues, talking about the events and also talking about lots of great things, lots of great offerings on behalf of the community. Friends, before we start off with today's program, let me take a quick moment to say thank you to the staff and management of ITV, the Vishwanath family, Sati Vishwanath auntie, and also Mr. Ravi Kumar helping us to ensure that we're able to bring this program into your homes for the last three years. That is what he has continued to do. So special thank you to him as well. Here is a special, it's actually a special event coming to you, brought to you on behalf of Caribbean Firefest Productions, Music of the World, Super Concert, with Kumar Sanu, Shannon Sanu, alongside a huge Caribbean cast and we've been we've been telling you a lot about it for the past few weeks so we are going to present to you a few samples of what you can expect from the performing artists we proceed to those clips new york orlando are you ready it's the world of music coming to you music of the world super concert the first tour with father and daughter bollywood superstar kumar sanu and beautiful shannon sanu direct from india देखो तुझे सपनों में तू माने ना माने बहुत खूबसूरत गजल लिख रहा हो तुम्हें देख कर आज कल लिख कितनी हसरत है हमें तुमसे दिल लगाने की मेरा दिल भी कितना पागल है ये फुल बैंड फ्रॉम मुंबई This is Kumar Sanu. I'll be coming to New York, Queens, at Amazura Hall on 8th of December. Hi, this is Shanti, and I'll be coming to Queens, New York, for the first time. And I'll be coming to Orlando, Florida. Hi, this is Kumar Sanu. I'll be coming to Orlando, Florida, at Majestic Event Center Hall. Alongside a huge Caribbean cast, three-time Chutney King, K.I. and the band, the Jai Master, Ricky Jai, the Golden Voice, Nibal Chaitlal, Guyana Babu, Terry G, out of Guyana, Demo Watchman, Mahendra Ram Kelawan, Guta Bisram, and the Angels Caribbean Band, Devendra Puran, Prince J.P., Anant Hansraj, Hema Devi, and the East-West Connection, D-Raj International Dancer, DJ Fest, and the Fire Fest Dancers, official MCs, W.R. Reyes, and Imran, December 8th, in New York, Amazura Hall, Jamaica Avenue. Then on Saturday, 9th December, in Orlando, Florida, at Majestic Event Center. Music of the World Super Concert. It's a Fire Fest production. जब कोई बात बिगड़ जाए, जब कोई मुश्किल पड़ जाए, तुम बिना साथ मेरा, ओ हम नवाज जब कोई बात बिगड़ जाए जब कोई मुश्किल पड़ जाए तुम बिना साथ मेरा ओ हम न कोई है न कोई था जिंदगी में तुम्हारे सिवा तुम बिना साथ मेरा ओ हम न तुम मगर 
Welcome back once again, and of course, thank you for joining with us. Thank you for being a part of our program. And remember, friends, whenever you wish to opine, Imran A at ITVGold.com, Imran A at ITVGold.com. It is indeed truly an honor and a privilege to be coming into your homes. And friends, we are in the month of December. That it, This is the final month of 2017, and Christmas is right around the corner. A time for giving. And one of the things I you know, recently posed a question is, what is the greatest gift that we can give someone in today's society? And some 
someone gave me a nice answer, the gift of knowledge, and not only the gift of knowledge, but the gift of love. Talking with, actually, as we are going to talk about it, we are going to be in conversation with someone who gives the gift of knowledge, and with that gift of knowledge, she encourages her students to also, this Christmas, give the gift of love and give the gift of a smile. Put a smile on someone's face uh, for, some, for the people who have faced the aftermath and the devastation of natural disasters that have occurred in Puerto Rico. Joining with me in conversation is someone representing the York College Early Academy. She is actually the art teacher and she's going to be talking to us about a very special project and also uh, we are going to talk and highlight about the achievements of the York College Early Academy. It gives me great privilege to be in conversation with Miss Jody Morello, the art teacher. I want to say welcome to our program. Thank you. Thank you so much. So let's talk about the York College Early Academy. Um, you know, I mean, how many students uh, attend the York College Early Academy and, uh, you know, from what grades actually do they start and when do they graduate? Well, we have about 600 students. They start in sixth grade and they graduate in 12th. And what happens is the middle school is on one level mostly. The upper level kids are on the upper floor. and. After ninth grade, what they do is they start attending college at uh, York College. Right. And so by the time they graduate high school, the hope is that they have a two-year college degree. And by doing so, it saves a lot of money for the parents. So it's possible that eight, at age 18, they have an associate's degree as well. Um, but now talking about the achievements, actually, and achieving the bronze uh, medal, actually, you know, in a school, in a borough, actually, this, you know, state where uh, we have at least over 522 schools. Uh, so what are some of the achievements that earned uh, your school that special recognition? Well, I'd like to talk about my art achievements. Well, okay, definitely, um, yes. In that um, my first year there, we had a first and a third place uh, art um, project in a juried art show. And then my second year there, we had a third year, a uh, third place um, painting, and then we also had a painting that went to the semifinals of the Metropolitan Museum of Art art show. Okay. So um, as far as that, um, you know, I can't say enough for my kids; they're amazing. And um, this is the first year we actually have a full art department. We also have a drama teacher now and a music teacher. So in addition to the fine art, we have a complete program. Definitely. So it gives the opportunity to kids who might not um, speak on a, an English or a math level, the opportunity to excel at something else. Now, um, we basically mentioned that they, they are admitted at sixth grade and they graduate yes. from like about 12th grade. Yes. So early youth actually into early adulthood. What is the process? How does, um, if one wishes to send their child to the school, uh, what's the requirements? There is an application process and then they are interviewed. We have about 1,500 applicants a year and about 90 new students make it each year. So it's tough. They have to... Um, come in and speak for themselves. Definitely, definitely. But uh, you spoke about so much about your art and, you know, as mentioned, you are the art teacher and, you know, bringing art, uh, teaching, teaching students to use their imagination to its fullest and, of course, yes. to the very best. And that's what your students actually have done and, you know, you've brought some samples, but it's actually concerning a project. Now, let's talk about the project and let's uh, talk about the art that uh, your students have actually done, uh, which you brought with you today. Well, I have friends who live in Puerto Rico. They've lived there for about five years. And they are two of the people that were deeply affected by the hurricane. And they actually hid while it hit. They heard the carport collapse on their cars. They heard the windows breaking. They have been without power since. So we've all been sending care packages. And as the holidays got closer, I thought, wow, there's so many kids that are gonna have a lousy holiday season. So I spoke to my students and I have about 95 ninth graders. And they said, how would you guys feel about creating something special? And so we decided we were gonna do stuffed animals. And there's nothing quite like teaching 95 kids how to use a sewing needle, how to thread the needle, how to knot as they go and so we came up with an idea. We're going to have each student make their own pattern. And so they all designed something, made their own patterns, um, learned how to sew, put them together, 
and um, here are a few of the samples. So um, these are uh, a couple of the ones that they made, right. and they're, I was so impressed. And on the back of each one, I had cards made up, right. and they each signed, and the card says, this stuffed animal was made for you with love by, and we are going to be sending them down by the end of next week to Umacao, and they're going to be going to Palmas Community Church, and they're going to be distributed through the Mission um, School for the Deaf. So I have friends on the other end who are expecting them and very excited, very touched that kids up here are so concerned for others. And I was actually really nervous because when you create art, and a lot of my kids have never taken an art class before, the concern was, oh, well, I just created this and I don't want to give it up. They're having no problem. Uh, a couple of them asked if they can make another one so they could keep it. But other than that, they're, they're very willing to you know, send love. So I was very pleased with that. Our viewers watching, if they wish to contribute in this munificent effort and join in uh, you know, with, with putting a smile on someone's face, how can they contribute and when is the deadline? Well, um, I'm trying to keep the deadline. I have a few students quite a few who have um, not finished yet. Right. The actual deadline for um, finish is Tuesday. Okay. And so I'd like to get them out by Friday. Okay. So if they'd like to drop anything off, they could come to York Early College Academy. Uh, we're on the fourth floor and they can leave things for me. Jody Morello, um, I'm actually on the third floor. Um, and they can speak to someone there about getting me whatever they, they'd like to get. And that way I can ship everything together. Definitely. So uh, now with everything that your student has actually done, uh, does it have to be stuffed animals? Uh, what, are we, what are we welcoming actually? Well, I, I asked my friends what they really wanted and they said, it, they're always thinking of others. They said there are so many utility people down there trying to restore power they, you know, the little packages of like Doritos and, and cheese doodles and things, they said send those because we can go out and give them a snack while they're working. So if people can bring snack foods, that's what they're asking for. I now have the privilege of having a student of York College Early Academy, uh, Tarina, I believe. Actually, welcome to our show. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So just give us a brief uh, rundown. Actually, how old are you? And of course, uh, you know, I mean, uh, basically, what is your, some of your goals that you would like to achieve actually being a part of York College Early Academy? So I am in the ninth grade, okay. uh, starting high school. I am currently 14 years old. Oh, wow. And when we are um, in art, we are making stuffed animals for the people who have suffered in hur many hurricanes like Puerto Rico. And I actually, my parents have been in a situation with their family at their home country uh, in Dominica. They actually experienced it too. So I contributed to this project because I thought um, I can make children smile even though they had a serious problem that happened to them so definitely uh, so now I know that actually we d you we didn't get a sample of your art that you're planning to uh, you know donate actually or, uh, with the drop-off but just give us an idea actually with what is the uh, what your art or basically your contribution what is the message you send uh, with that very special gift I'm sending the message that it's it's a, a fox by the way <laughs> um, and Basically, it shows that like foxes, when they um, are on their own, they have to basically provide for themselves and find different ways to survive. So um, when I'm making the fox, I'm, as I give it to the, the children, it's showing that you can find your way and provide and make yourself feel more happy or excited even though the devastation. 
Definitely. So with this very special token, she's actually sending the message of overcoming the difficulties and the devastation that has occurred. I want to say thank you to you for being a part of our program and also joining in with this great effort. Uh, last word, actually, I would like to ask you is to encourage people to uh, join in in whatever whatever way or whatever form actually that they can, uh, you know, give a generous donation towards those uh, affected by the various hurricanes. Um, you don't necessarily have to create a um, plush or a stuffed animal. Just show that you care and that you want to give out and you can maybe write a little letter or send anything that you don't need right now and you can send it off to show that you care and we really have to start stepping up as a community after all these devastations um, we really need to show that we're listening and we care and that this that they can overcome this problem i'd just like to say thank you for anyone who can help us um, if you'd like to donate anything, please bring it. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't matter how small. They would be so happy to have it. So, but thank you very much and good night. And that's been our show for today. Remember friends, whenever you want to get in touch with me or if ever you wish to opine, Imran A at ITVGold.com, Imran A at ITVGold.com. Do be sure to send us your email with your thoughts, your suggestions, your comments, your feedback, and also your concerns as well. That is also welcomed in addition to everything else we have mentioned. Don't forget friends, tonight, tonight, Restoring Paradise, Restoring Paradise, Saturday, December 2nd at the Jamaica Performing Arts Center. I will be your MC for the event with an all-star lineup of performers such as Terry Gadraj, A9, Anand Hansraj, Sita Pandey, Devendra Puran, we have Chandani Singh, also Alana Ma, so many other wonderful uh, people coming for uh, Restoring Paradise that's going to be taking place later tonight at the Jamaica Performing Arts Center. And with that being said, this is yours truly saying to you, my time with you is officially over. I, however, always have you on my mind. Until next week, have a blessed and a splendid week ahead. We'll see you again next week.